Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about the problems related to mole concept, wherein we will be finding the mass of the substance. Now let's look at the formula that we are going to use to solve these kind of problems. When the number of moles of the substance is given, we need, we need to use this formula to find the mass of the substance, which is mass equals the number of moles multiplied by the molar mass, which is small m equals small n multiplied by capital M, where small m stands for the mass of the substance, small n stands for the number of moles and capital M represents the molar mass. Now let's take this uh, formula to be equation 1. Now when the number of particles that is atoms, molecules or ions are given, we need to do another procedure. So that is the number of moles is given by the given number of particles divided by the Avogadro number. We have already seen this formula in a previous video. Now in place of this n in equation 1, we can substitute this value and which leads to this equation that is small m which is the mass equals n divided by n naught whole multiplied by the molar mass which is m. So this is the direct formula which we can use to find out the mass of the substance when the number of particles is given in the question. So these are the two formulae that we are going to make use of to solve these kind of problems. So let's, let's just quickly start solving the problems. So this is the first problem which says calculate the mass of 0.5 mole of nitrogen gas. Let's solve it. So the given number of moles that is small n is 0.5 mole. We know that the molecular mass of one N2 molecule is 14 plus 14 which is 28 U which means that the molar mass which is the gram molecular mass of N2 becomes 28 grams. We have simply replaced the unit U by grams to arrive at the molar mass of nitrogen. Now we can make use of the first formula here which is small m equals small n into capital M where small n is the number of moles which is already given in the question and capital M is the molar mass that we have just now found out. Now just quickly put in the values and we on solving this we get an answer as 14 grams. This means that 0.5 moles of N2 gas has 14 grams of nitrogen molecules. Now let's move ahead and solve another problem. So this problem says calculate the mass of 0.5 mole of nitrogen atoms. Now the given number of moles here is again 0.5 mole but here we have nitrogen atoms unlike nitrogen molecules that we had in our previous question. So we need to be careful while looking at the problems. It may be atoms or molecules. We, we need to go accordingly. So the atomic mass of one nitrogen atom is 14 U which means the molar mass becomes 14 grams. We have simply replaced U with G. Now we can simply make use of the formula number 1 as we did before that is small m equals small n into capital M where small n is the number of moles which we have and capital M is the molar mass that we have just found out. So let's quickly put in the values here and on substituting the values and solving we get the answer as 7 grams which means 0.5 moles of nitrogen atoms has 7 grams of mass. Now here is the question 3 for us. Calculate the mass of 3.011 into 10 power 23 number of nitrogen atoms. So the given number of nitrogen atoms is 3.011 into 10 power 23 atoms. Now we know that the Avogadro number which is n naught is given by 6.022 into 10 power 23 atoms. Now atomic mass of one nitrogen atom as we know is 14 U and therefore the molar mass of one nitrogen atom becomes 14 grams. Now we have all the information for uh, formula 2 
we have n capital n which is um, which is the number of atoms n not which is the avogadro number and molar mass is capital m which we have just found out so we can simply substitute all these values here and find the value of mass so on substituting all the values and solving for this we get an answer finally as 7 grams which means that these many number of nitrogen atoms weigh 7 grams now here is the question 4 for us which says calculate the mass of 6.022 into 10 power 23 molecules of nitrogen now the given number of n2 molecules here is 6.022 into 10 power 23 molecules we know that the Avogadro number is again the same now the molecular mass of N2 molecule is 14 plus 14 which is 28 U. Since it has two, mol two atoms of nitrogen, we need to add uh, the mass of nitrogen two times. That's it. So the molar mass of N2 molecule here becomes 28 grams by just replacing the unit from U to G. Now since we have all the values that is N, N0, N, N0 and M, we can simply move ahead and put all these values in formula number 2 to arrive at the mass of the substance. So just quickly, uh, let's quickly put the values here. And on solving this, we arrive at the answer as 28 grams. So this would essentially mean that these many number of nitrogen molecules have a mass of 28 grams. Now here is the question 5 for us which says calculate the mass of 0.3 mole of oxygen atoms. Now let's go ahead and solve this. Now here we see that the number of moles of the substance is given which is sufficient for us to figure out that we are going to use formula number 1 to find the mass of the substance. So the given number of moles is 0.3 moles and the atomic mass of one oxygen atom is 16 U which means the molar mass of one oxygen atom is 16 grams. Now the first formula that we have is mass equals small n multiplied by capital M. Small n here is the number of moles, capital M here is the molar mass. Now just quickly substitute all these values here. So on solving this we have the answer as mass equals 4.8 grams which means that 0.3 mole of oxygen atoms have a mass of 4.8 grams. Now here is the question number 6 for us. Calculate the mass of 0.6 mole of carbon dioxide molecules. So even here the question has provided us with the number of moles. So this is enough to figure out that we are going to use the formula number 1 for this. I mean for solving this. So the given number of moles is 0.6 mole. The molecular mass of one carbon dioxide molecule is 12 plus 16 plus 16 which is 44 U. 12 for carbon uh, and there are two items of oxygen. So we add two masses here of oxygen and the fi it finally results in 44 U. So the molar mass of carbon dioxide becomes 44 grams. Now we just put in these uh, values in our formula number 1 which is small m equals small n multiplied by capital M. Here small n stands for the number of moles and capital M stands for the molar mass. Since we have both the information, we just go ahead and put all these information in this formula and this results in an answer of 26.4 grams. This would essentially mean that 0.6 mole of carbon dioxide has a mass of 26.4 grams. So this is how we calculate the mass of a substance when the number of moles is given or the number of particles is given. So I hope this concept was understandable for you. Thank you. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.